Here we are with a Sunday afternoon Zoom. And we have a very special guest, Mirham. Is that how you pronounce your name? Uh, Miriam. Miriam. Miriam, yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, uh, Miriam, and uh, share your uh, experience and uh, inspire people to uh, yes. go beyond what they believe is possible. Um, it's not to uh, uh, do it through ego, but um, it's through uh, um, challenging people to do things that they don't, don't think it's possible. Because in the realm of MFS, we all know now that everything's possible. It's just up to you. Do you devote your time and, and uh, energy and uh, commit to your soul? And if you do, your wish is your command. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> thank you again for joining us. And um, maybe you want to start on uh, your background a little bit and, uh, how you, yes. and how you got into cleaner eating and so on and so forth. And, uh, yes. Before. Yeah, well, uh, where to start? Yeah, I, I have been uh, interested in, uh, in, in like natural medicine and all, everything that's healing for a long time since I was a kid actually oh, okay. and uh, when I was 14 I really started to study like herbs and everything what can change your body mind spirit so uh, that's awesome. where it started <laughs> and uh, yeah you asked uh, in the in the protocol also to tell something about my youth and what was my issues and, and all. So let's start in the beginning. Sure. I will start it in, in the beginning. So the biggest challenge in my life is to come on this earth. I wanted to leave this earth actually immediately when I was in the belly of my mom. <laughs> With uh, 24 weeks, I was almost going out. Oh, really? Wow. And, uh, and then I would have been a mis miscarriage. So my mom was brought to the hospital to um, to stop the contractions. And then they put her in the hospital bed for two weeks with something in her vein, an adrenaline-like substance. And uh, that kept me here. That stopped the... Uh, contractions so then I was born one week later than was uh, the you know not yet yeah, just you know I was not uh, just one week later than the date that was uh, uh, so you were, I would. you were still premature no 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 one week later over okay yeah over yeah yeah so I'm not a premature so uh, and then I was born um, yeah, as the third child in the family, full of speed skating, we were really a lot of, uh, you know, I was also speed skating natural over the, the Dutch championships as uh, when I was young, really every week a lot of training, biking and, uh, and all of that. Uh, so the adrenaline uh, could really flow. Huh? This, uh, <laughs> I was being really pushed on this adrenals. Really, this uh, was my family also. Really, on yeah, how you call it? Uh, uh, you have the prestige uh, to 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 be the first, to be the quickest, to be the best, to be like that. And uh, as, when I was a child, I could really go into that really good and um challenges are nice. what's it, what'd you say challenges are nice you know uh yeah competitions and stuff yeah competitive yeah that was the word i was looking for <laughs> so that uh yeah that i did till my 14th and then uh i got uh yeah, in this speed skating world, everything is about seconds uh, and about how much fat you have on your body. But when I was 14, I was just becoming a young woman. And then they started to say, yeah, you are too fat. You have to lose uh, one kilo is one second on the 500 meter speed skating. 
and then they took my fat and they would you know say yeah that's too much you have to go on a soup diet so then i went on to soup diets and i lost my way i should say i lost my uh, i lost the way in food and how to if feed myself and what's healthy and then I started to lose a lot of weight and then I was too skinny and then I had to gain weight again and then I didn't know anymore what to eat and as a child we just would eat everything you know yeah sports also a lot of uh, like pastas and um, things like that Mm -hmm. Um, just but my mom used to cook healthy yeah in the in in the ways of that we think not nothing out of a pot you know vegetables but nothing biological just but also yeah yeah potatoes patats uh, frit uh, mm-hmm. actually actually everything candies yeah yeah, yeah. i really didn't think about it actually really mm-hmm. what is healthy and uh yeah uh then I started to want to eat and then I could not digest the food. I would purge and then I, lo- I really lost my way in this. For about three, four years I was throwing up and losing all this food uh, consciousness actually. And then when I was 18 I uh, went out of the house and then I went living on my own in squat and uh, then i went into this kind of life squatting and party uh, we had a cafe in the night and uh, you know <laughs> everybody out of the city coming to our place and experimenting with many things which was a very nice time and then i also really started to study uh, food and what is healthy food and what I should you know because I had to learn it again actually because it started to become really an enemy actually the food so I I really liked it when I would be very skinny because then I would be very light very connected very spiritual so I loved it actually not eating but then my environment would become like you have to eat so then i started to eat again and then you have to become fat again so i started to drink like cream in my uh, you know more cream and more cream and more <laughs> fat and things and but uh, many problems with my lymphatic system the, the more i eat the more problem that becomes and uh so yeah i have been struggling really with food actually all my life i should say Uh, and struggling with the thoughts people's uh, opinions about how i should look Uh, that was really difficult for me everybody has Uh, (laughs) yeah (laughs) it's always something or you are too fat or you too thin there's always something you know can never I then say, yeah, cook cannot cook for everyone's mouth. You never can be making everybody happy. But that has been really big issue emotionally, also all my life. I, I am a person that wants everybody to be happy with me, but that is uh, difficult to mm-hmm. keep everyone happy. So yeah, as a child. Um, I had uh, many issues with uh, my intestine. I would blow up, uh, especially with pastas and nightshades and all of that things. And I had um, um, yeah, yeah. Especially my lymphatic system actually has always been uh, an issue. And, and this is also really with the spleen meridian. And this is all about, and when I know about natural medicine and know that this whole splenic issues is about what people think of you, how they judge you. And uh, this has been long time, really a difficult issue. Also in this whole master fest, this came up big issue, big difficulties with that. 
So yeah. when we're yeah. eating the heavier foods, uh, the lymph system's going to get plugged up. Yeah. Just a matter yeah. of time. <laughs> I know, yeah, this I also really learned. And uh, so in the whole master fest, this really cleared up. It's really cleaned out. So uh, everything is uh, soft now and healthy. It feels really good, <laughs> actually. And um, yeah, where to go? Um, yeah, that was actually this year when it was in January. I really uh, I started. Uh, yeah, you know that. Uh, where did it start? Yeah. Well, you've been in the group a while, haven't you? Or well, no, I st I came in the group um, in May. I think in May, when was it when I just started the master fest? I was just on the master fest. When was it in June, beginning of June? I mean, uh, this 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 year yes. is when you came. Yeah, yeah, this year. Yeah, in yeah, it was in spring, beginning of summer, somewhere there. I don't know. I don't, I, I didn't write it down ex actually, mm -hmm. because Per uh, he uh, signed up for us. Because I had a, a, a bladder inflammation and then it got into my kidneys and then I, I found out I had kidney stones and this, uh, yeah, I really got sick in the beginning of this year in January. I was really for three weeks, really suffering and pain and I, I was crawling off the ground really and shaking and very sick actually. Mm -hmm. Not fun. <laughs> Not fun at all. No, it was really. I I have never had. I have three kids, uh, twins, and uh, and and a boy. And uh, I must say that the kidneys were worse than the birth. <laughs> wow. it's, it's really, really terrible. So. Uh, but this, yeah. And then I learned also that this is connected also to this whole lymphatic system. So I was really doing everything I could, everything I learned uh, to uh, heal my kidneys. And um, then um, I think it was in April or May, uh, or at one point, uh, this, this, especially on this side uh, of my hair, this lymphatic system got really worse. And uh, I got the feeling that as if it was crawling into my bones. And then I really felt like, oh, and then I felt it everywhere on my belly points, like as if it was lightening up, like pots, pots, pots. Uh, and then I was really like, oh my God, this is really uh, bells ringing. If I don't do anything now, uh, I felt I, I was afraid it would be a cancer. You know, I had sore in my mouth that would not heal. And uh, I got really uh, uh, horrible visions about snakes biting me, and it was really, really, really difficult. Yeah. And then. Um, this was uh, early in the year? Early in this year, yeah. yeah. Like in April, May, something like that. And then I've, 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 I, yeah, then I started deep study. I read a lot about. Also, if it would be a cancer, what is the consciousness of the cancer? And I read a book about I had to die to live again, something. I had to, there's one woman who had to written a book. And I recognized a lot of her issues, you know, religious issues about am I a child of God? And what, uh, what do people think of me? And always this feeling of not being good enough. And the whole emotional background, I recognized really a lot of her story. And um, yeah, then, uh, then we were looking into this and I was taking all different herbs, all the like cat's claw, devil's claw, all the claws and uh, then the lion, the teeth of the lion and all this, uh, you know, which has points and all these herbs that uh, really help to against this like energetically the snake bite yeah? it, this, because it was I'm, I'm really a visionary and uh, so I was looking in that and uh, taking a homeopathic also uh, the Crotalus holidus this is this, the, the poison of a rattlesnake so all these kinds of 
I was looking into that and then Per was looking together with me to find what's the best cure for what I am suffering. And then we got onto this uh, other master fast. You have master fast system, and there's another man. I don't remember his name. Master cleanse. Uh, the master, yeah, it's a master cleanse. This is also man, a man who eats only grapes and has a uh, different kind of tinctures. I don't know. This is a man who is also on the has many videos on the YouTube. So then we got on the master fast and then we got on your master fast by looking into master fast and so this is Per actually found you and he said this is what we should do 108 days uh, master fast maybe you should just start with nine days and the divine nine and then i was looking into this and then i thought yeah this is a good way this i understand because it's simple because I did also a whole natural medicine study, homeopathy, herbs, uh, psychological, emotional guidance. And, uh, you know, I did many studies. But because of so many studies, I, I also lost my way in, exactly. in like food and, and what's the good diet. And, you know, because learning so much, it becomes so complicated that uh, and then when we got into this master fast it, it became so simple that my heart opened up to it mm -hmm. it became because of the simplicity and then i was really like yeah this is what we got to do so pair ordered all the tinctures and we, we he he got uh, into you know hello and so this is how i became member too with him together so he said yeah then i will do it then we do it together <laughs> uh, and uh so then we started it it all and uh before i did uh, this ma master fast we did one nine day uh breatharian challenge mm -hmm. this was so i already cleaned out and um also because of that medicine that my mother got when she was in when i was in the womb this has got done, done something to the liver that and um, to the heart and to the kidneys and you know it it was bad medicine it was really bad and um it was we were guinea pigs actually so before the uh, i started the master fest i did also a liver cleanse again with the oil and this i did in the past many times i did many times also fasten for like a week or 12 days but then again when i would fast many people would have again opinions and then i just stopped doing fasts and uh, listening to other people's opinions instead of to my own intuition uh, so i i let my intuition uh, let it go in a way yeah because of the opinion of others this was really the biggest issue uh, mm -hmm. actually it for, yeah it is for a lot of people yeah 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 really strong and so but then it was really like okay and then we bought bought this um, distill apparat uh, and uh, to distill the water, and this beautiful shining uh, apparat in my in our yurt with 108 on it, you know. And this the only number in my yurt is 108. <laughs> so then it was really like that was my main guide. <laughs> you guys did the, the the whole fast inside your yurt. Yes, in the yurt, yeah. And Pat, he went to California also, the last, like, one month of the fast. Right. We, came, we, we reunited again uh, the day that we had 108 day, <laughs> And then we broke the fast together. So we did, like, the first one and a half or two months, I don't know exactly anymore, we did together. Awesome. Yeah. In the yurt, yeah. This was really challenging also with this enemas and buckets and... <laughs> Oh my goodness, <laughs> the bucket's full of shit <laughs> carrying to the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it was wonderful to, to really have my beloved at my side and uh, doing this together, really. <laughs> you didn't kill each other. <laughs> no, not at all. We are really, we are 
beautiful yeah. beloveds. <laughs> no, no, we didn't have any really no, issue. No emotional there. roller coasters between you. <laughs> Well, there have been uh, some, uh, but that's more on the love uh, and the love and accepting myself and coming out and showing my love. And because I was in a competitive, really family, what was not so much on the, on the, uh, on the love and intimacy, this really came up for me. Mm -hmm. No, we haven't been killing uh, really each other at all. No, <laughs> we are really actually very nice together. Beautiful, beloved. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no hair pulling <laughs> that, that I had in, in my marriage before. <laughs> no, none of that. <laughs> yeah, it was, felt really as a big cleanse out because I, I, I was also in a, in a marriage which was not so harmonious, which was really karmic relationship. And I used to be in the Santo Daimi uh, church, which is really also kind of dogmatic many times and uh, with comments and they would really, yeah, interfere with many of my, uh, yeah, choices, uh, you know, and that held me down, that, 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 that kept me in instead of just being really who I am and, uh, mm -hmm connecting into my own spirituality and yeah there was as if there was always something in between me and you know like they hit my head <laughs> in a way that's how I felt um, um, judged many times and uh, but two years ago I went out of that church and uh, when I met Per actually and then my then I divorced also so uh, because Per and me met and we are beautiful twin flames. So uh, yeah, this was really like, I, and then I had to start following my heart and I had to fulfill my own cells, like what says yes and what says no. And this I start to follow, but uh, this whole master fast felt like a cleanse out of all these kind of issues. You know, many of these issues came up of what other people thought of me, how people wanted to make my choices or, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that was the biggest cleans out actually. And I retreated a lot. I really retreated a lot. I, I didn't call many people who have been judging me in the past. I broke many relationships, like just not calling anymore, not trying anymore, not, you know, not wanting to be in an underdog position anymore. No, yeah. Uh, so it learned me really to make my own choices. Mm -hmm. And also towards my, my parents, they were really like, you're going to do this fast and this is dangerous and you might die. And, and then I was really like, yeah, you know, or you support me or I will be just not having any contact in these <laughs> 108 days, you know, because I'm going to do it whatever you say because i don't want to die because it felt as if it's this lymphatic system in this thing as if i was you know it was like <laughs> suffocating and starting to suffocate uh, i was yeah. yeah people are so fearful of what they don't know yeah it was just fear and as i said you know i don't believe anymore in fear lack and limitation if you're into these kind of belief systems and you were trying to project it on me i put my border i say no i don't want i don't want that you know, if you, if you keep on projecting that to me, I just say, I don't want any more contact now because I need to heal myself. I do this to heal myself, not to just like lose weight. No, because I, yeah, I went to skin and bones and people were terrified in a way and they had their opinions, but I retreated really a lot. And uh, that was very good for me actually to really choose my life really say this is my life and I make my choices and I follow what I feel is good for me. So the master fast really helped me also to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This was the main cleanse out through this. Yeah. Especially on this part, I must say that that uh, really helped. And uh, it, it, I actually, I had very good energy, the whole mass fest. I could 
bike and uh, I could still do my job. I had many clients for natural medicine, for flower remedies, we guide ceremonies and this was really beautiful, you know, the music, my voice went open much more beautiful than ever. Yeah, I'm a singer, Pat is a guitar player and singer too. So we play a lot of music, especially my voice went really open. This was so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. What to say more? (laughs) (laughs) So how did uh, maybe describe your uh, experience during the fast? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had yeah quite a good uh, energy in the uh, in the mean in the time because I would bike quite a lot and this would be like 45 minutes to where I did many times shopping and 45 minutes back because, and um, I yeah I could just bike really good I just worked did my work I uh, live on a natural or campsite uh, and I could just do the cleansing and the and the things. It's, uh, yeah, working in the gardens. Yeah, this was really good energy, actually. And I noticed that there was a lot on my spleen, you know, my spleen uh, in the back. uh, I had pain in the back and uh, the whole meridian of the spleen really lightened up a lot, which is also connected to this lymphatic system and to the mouth and uh, also connected to accepting uh to enjoy enjoy life enjoy love enjoy uh, intimacy and all these kind of things which was pretty much blocked because also this refers also again back to this medicine that my god that my mother got because an adrenaline blocks the oxytocin so many issues in my life has to do with this love uh, issues you know issues to open my heart and allow myself to enjoy and allow myself to love people. So uh, a lot of these issues came up, you know, also about when people have an opinion, then they don't love me and then I don't feel loved. And then there comes adrenaline and this whole, yeah, this whole adrenal, um, hypophysa adrenal acts was like, uh, uh, many times a long time in my life like uh, yeah out of balance I must say Mm -hmm. yeah yeah all my life actually and uh, for this I took CBD oil and many of these things and also that's why I was very very happy with this uh, uh, adrenal plant uh, tincture uh, all the tinctures make, made really sense to me. The tinctures were great. You know, in the dry fast, I would take the tinctures too. And this really pulled me through this dry fast. <laughs> then immediately when, uh, whenever I would feel really low, I would take a little bit of the tincture and then it would pull me through. Spirit, it just spirit, yeah. Beautiful, yeah. And it makes a lot of sense. So that... That really helped me. Also taking the enemas always helped me a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I really suffered uh, from becoming skinny because it was summer and everybody. And so I would just dress long, you know, long uh, uh, skirts and uh, white clothes. And uh, I didn't dare to go swimming in the lake <laughs> while we have a lake on the land. But um, yeah, so that was difficult for me. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Um, Dry fasting schedule? Yes, I did. And uh, I started to do it uh, also a little bit more then. And then Gina said, no, better just stay. Uh, and then I was okay, okay, take it easy. So I listened to you in that. I just did the 12 hours and 24 hours and then the two days. Most of the time, two days. I I managed two and a half days once 
But then I noticed that after that two and a half days, I everything flamed up so much. And then I thought, just take it easy. You know, why should I just push myself? Because then I'm again too hard on myself. Yeah. I had to learn to be soft. Yeah. Yeah. So not to push uh, too much. That's your monthly one, right? Two yeah. Months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two two days. Mm. Uh, two and a half days once, but that was uh, yeah. I don't know. Initially, you were doing more <clears throat> more dry fasting, and then uh, you slowed down a little bit later. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, I find that we, you know, we lose a lot of weight when we uh, push the dries, you know. Yeah. Uh, so it's yeah. better to do it slowly for sure. Yeah. Also yeah. The weight, but also the body, you know, it takes time. Yeah. Also. Yeah, exactly. To build the faith, you know, to believe that everything is fine, it takes time. Yeah. Um, and I think it's best to uh, just do it slowly. Yeah. Yeah, this I found out, and also I noticed that Per uh, also after the after we broke the fast, he he pushed it way too much, and he just started to to push the dry fast, and then he be now I saw him, and then I then I understood like oh aha uh -huh, okay, <laughs> <Did he? laughs> and like okay take it easy. And because I know how to be hard on myself, you know, it's speed skating and going on and on and on and on and on and on until you go through your pain and then you go on and on. Yeah, yeah. so I, I know how to punish myself. And, but I have to start to be soft on myself and, and, and love myself more. So this was good. Also, Master Fast helped me in that. Yeah. And I liked it, you know, I, I, I really like not eating. But that all my life, I already like it because everything opens up. Spiritual life opens up. The star connection opens up. The connection with my guides, my spirit guides and, you know, uh, with source. Yeah, this is, uh, I have a strong connection since childhood. Huh? That's why I wanted to go back, you know, as a baby. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a definitely a simpler lifestyle. Yeah. Past. And uh, there is also, we also get attracted to that, you know, also the simplicity, but of course the connection, the lightness, physical lightness. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's, beautiful. it's, yeah. And you go back to eating, you feel like it's much more complicated, right? Yeah. Much yeah, it is. It is complicated. Yeah. yeah. I felt also my emotion became more complicated when I started eating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it takes time. It takes time to transmutate, to metamorphosize uh, this physical, mental, emotional body. It takes time. And this is yeah. what uh, most people can just do not want to have the understanding. Um, they believe they know better. And they jump to things that they believe they can do better. Uh, like somebody I missed it today. Somebody was doing two, three days dry fasting a week after yeah. only being a year on, on a cleaner lifestyle. You're going to kill yourself. That's, yeah. that's uh, you're setting yourself up for disaster. Um, yeah. People who went breatharian, they kill themselves. Um, yeah. This is just, you know, we've been working at killing ourselves and obstructing this body, mental and emotional body for decades and yeah, yeah. to completely yeah, I mean, change it in a, in a few weeks or months or years just give it time and be patient uh, it'll happen it'll happen you know we add, this is what i say we have yeah. the rest of our lives so why rush you know, yeah exactly you want to be brazilian in six years sure <laughs> you know? yeah just uh, have a protocol and follow it you know start you know dry fasting more slowly yeah but I mean, I mean, even like, let's say Breitarian in six years, that's huge. That's like, that's a big transformation. Yeah. In nine years. That's yeah. huge. You know, like it, it's a complete change from our, where we come from. And plus yeah, exactly. Science, yeah. Uh, the teaching is basically, um, truly it'll take a couple of generations to have the change from carnivorous diet to like a vegan diet. That's yeah. how long it takes yeah, generations. Exactly. That's uh, you know, but um, from our understanding, what we know now, we can do it quicker, um, but not uh, uh, 
few months or years. And it's going to take yeah. some time. It's going to take some time yeah. because uh, we have that whole um, uh, inheritance from our ancestors that we are part of. And yeah. you know, it's been happening for generations and generations, people or families have been eating meat or whatever. Yeah. And that is ingrained in us. So to change that over, you, you're, you're going to have to be a magician to do it quicker. But yeah. we have a process now that we know that we can do it a lot quicker. But I'm talking about decades instead of generations. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have the ability. We, we've seen genetic um, um, uh, problems being corrected on MasterFast within a few MasterFasts. So once we see that, then we know that we can do it quicker, but we're talking, you know, decades. We're not talking about yeah. months or a few years, you know, commitment for people who actually live and love the lifestyle, not people who do it as a circus event and then go back to their old ways and then come back and then go back to go. That's even, not living it. Even the commitment takes time. Yeah. 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 You commit to something just to get there. You know, it, it takes time. It won't happen until time, you, it know? won't happen until we're ready. When we're ready, exactly. we'll come. It won't happen yeah. before. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you're doing your, you, you mentioned your dry fasting schedule, you're doing enemas. Uh, how much uh, juice were you drinking approximately daily? Uh, yeah, sometimes I lost count, but at least two or ah. three liters, you know? Ah. Yeah. And I, in the end, it started to get colder. Then I would to put also. Uh, like anise seed and all these warming seeds, uh, the, the cinnamon, yeah. fennel. Mm -hmm. I would love that, you know. Yeah. The Bengal spice herbal teas uh, put in and and cook it with the, with the, with the lemon. The, it the is this is lovely. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing that. Drinking. This awesome. No, I love it. I love it like that too. Yeah, me too. And I'm still drinking it every day. You know, I was, uh, yeah, still uh, waking up and then drink one tea, just uh, not the, really the medicinal tea. Sometimes when I feel like, oh, to, you know, when I feel like, oh, I have to take um, uh, kidney tea or whatever comes up, I take medicinal herbs, especially for what, what, what I feel I should take. And, um, and then we, I start drinking just juice the first part of the day. And then start to yeah for a long time we just uh, I just they took all the fruits after it also the fruits I I try salads but it doesn't really work out the what, for sorry? me Salad. salads oh, yeah. vegetables uh, yeah you know it's I get a lot of gas mm. it doesn't really work for me at the moment so uh, I I tried some but uh, well, yeah, any any anytime we're moving away from fruit we're going into more obstructive even if they're yeah yeah, so yeah. They are, they're, they're not as, as obstructed as some of the other stuff but they still are more obstructive than fruit for sure yeah 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 and i i i, I we took uh we ate the 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 chickpeas and this and that's really i, I mean, <laughs> it was delicious you know i got really i wanted almost didn't want to stop eating really yeah. You know, but then I felt really clogged up after. I, it, it, it really, I felt did you, as if. <laughs> did you try some green juices? Uh, only one time. I only one time I drank the green juices. I, 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 when I started eating again, when I broke the fast, then uh, I became very emotional around love and around intimacy. And I, I had the homeopathic remedy that really hit at my bottom. And I was crying for three days. I couldn't stop crying, 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 crying. My goodness, I haven't been crying so much in my life, I can tell you. I was completely swollen. My eyes looked like, you know, like wow. a frog, really. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. You're releasing really something. Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. Many issues came up, a lot from my youth, and oh, it was really, I, I never saw myself like that. I couldn't stop. And then I was really like, oh, yeah, the green juice. So I made myself a green juice, mm -hmm. especially with the celery and everything that what works on the kidneys. And then, uh, then that really calmed me down. That, that, that then I really oh yeah so only once actually only one green juice I drank. Hmm. 
that really helped. Yeah. But in my master fast, in the master fast itself, I didn't take any green juice, mm -hmm. just uh, the grape juice and the lemon. Yeah. Well, the green slows everything way down. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for some people, if they have problems digesting greens and they, they have a craving for them, it's best to do green juices or green broth. Yeah. That's, uh, or the broth, yeah. I made in the in the master fast itself. We we I made the broth. Yeah. Also with nice spices sometimes, you know. Not the uh, not the uh, hot spices, but uh, yeah, that I really liked. Mm -hmm. I really liked it because it was also warm, and especially I I would do that uh, when I had to work, when I had to really be uh, be grounded. Then I would sometimes make a broth. I mm -hmm. think like once a week, maybe, yes. not even once a week, once every two weeks. Yeah. How many enemas were you doing? Like uh, most of the times it would be two, uh, a big part also three, but I had to walk with those buckets and it was, <laughs> it was a challenge. It was a kind of challenge. Mm -hmm. this, uh, but uh, at least two and many times three, but yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I would do it always with the kidney tea, leftovers, and uh, would mix it with uh, the baking soda. And how much plasma pudding were you taking? Four of the tablespoons, always the maximum. Yeah. 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 And the tinctures you were doing nine, you said? Yeah, nine. Yeah, nine. indeed. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I uh, in the beginning I took a, li a little bit less of the tinctures, but later I just took the full dose. I took it a shot. Mm -hmm. It's I like the shot. Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah. like it. Gives it some kind of high. Yeah. It does, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's really good. Especially when you're dry fasting, you feel them. <laughs> Yeah, in the dry fast, I felt them most strongly. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would sometimes mix it also with the tea. That is also nice. Gives mm -hmm. also good, uh, good energy. Yeah. yeah you know, some people mentioned that they don't like the taste of the herbs. I'm going, wow, I love the herbs. <laughs> oh, I love them. Oh, really? But I always love the juice. Also, I never had really a problem. Yeah, one period I had a little bit that I got started to have uh, sour mm -hmm. and I just reduced the the lemon and I started to put in the the fennel and all the herbs that soften the intestine and mm -hmm. that worked for me mm -hmm. then I could really easily drink it again yeah yeah I mean I I, I love the herbs and the the tinctures and the tea the way he makes it and he puts maple syrup with it. Tastes okay. Like, it tastes yeah. Amazing. It's like almost like coffee, but it's like good coffee. You know? like it's, oh yeah, yeah. It doesn't make you hyper. It, oh it, yeah. It's very delicious. So oh, good. I only started drinking it with him the way he does it. Uh, at home, I used to have it as shots before. Okay. Yeah, it is nice also when you mix yeah. it and cook it together. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. Yeah. And I would take maida sometimes, tablespoon, you know, this honey wine. Because that was said to be one time uh, as be one of my most important healers of the, of the heart energy. Honey wine? Uh, honey wine, yeah. Maida, maida. Made with honey, wine with honey? N maida, yeah, maida, met. They, it is a wine made from honey. Oh, made from honey. It, yeah, um, wine made from honey, met. It's called made, made. No? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, this was uh, 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 so, uh, one time I was in some kind of special healing program on DNA healing, and it was said that, uh, that to take this would be uh, for healing for me to enjoy life that it's i take take it as a medicine so every two weeks i take a little bit of this wine yes. yeah mm -hmm. to enjoy life to to and and i uh, i understand because the honey is made in in this sixth shape and uh, honey helps 
and like propolis and honey and maiden all help to all the body, all the cells, all the water in the body always want to go into the sixth shape. So it helps the, 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 uh, your body to remember this beehive harmonious structures. Mm -hmm. This is how it came in, 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 in as a vision, how this helps. So I also bought for myself uh, two big pots of this Manuka honey, mm -hmm. the, 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 the most expensive honey that yeah. is there. And this I took sometimes just a little bit, you know, as, again, for, for my healing on this harmonious uh, bees, how they work together and uh, this consciousness to bring into my system. Nice. This I introduced with it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so how, uh, how is your experience now after the fast? Uh, the first period of starting eating was really challenging. It was really difficult because many emotions came up. I thought it was difficult. Yeah. I remember, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. Uh, it can be for most of us, I would say. Yeah. It's a big change. Yeah, I felt very light during the fast. I, I felt as if I was just like, da 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 da, -da you know, going through it. Mm -hmm. But uh, actually starting to eat, all my old issues started to show themselves, which, was, which now when I look back is also very good, very good experience, you know. And I really start to learn to embrace, embrace everything that comes up, just to be with it, not fighting it. But I have a difficulty not to fight my emotions because, yeah, just this old programs running, you know, when I would be emotional, stop crying, don't do that, don't be like that. And so I always try, a long time I just squeezed up my, my, my being and just to let it, let it come. Uh, yeah, and especially in the beginning, uh, I, I, I jumped out of the eating more, you know, I more I go back into the, just the juice mm -hmm. and um yeah then uh, for a long time i just stay with uh with with the fruits yeah, actually i'm also yeah more eating fruits mm -hmm. now and yeah, now with the christmas i uh, had some uh some other foods but then immediately i felt i feel it feel it immediately like swallow my feet swell up when i make mistakes you know, my face swells up when I make a mistake. Uh, that uh, that I feel immediately. How, how long since you broke your fast now? Uh, uh, I broke my fast the 26th of November. Uh, no, October. So two months. Two months. Yeah. 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 You're still a lo you know, long ways before the body starts settling. At least six months after you do 108 days. Um, yeah. Remember, we're putting the body through a drastic change in 180 yeah. days, and then we're putting it through another drastic change when we start eating. Yeah. So it's not going to happen, you know, quickly. It takes time to rebalance itself and start, uh, you know, uh, understanding that you're digesting food again, and so on and so forth. Just be patient yeah. and uh, continue. And uh, yeah. Now you could uh, uh, have a better understanding of listening to your body because the GI tract has been cleaned. Uh, yeah. When people are coming from uh, whatever diet and they have a plugged up GI tract, uh, the body gives false signals. Um, you know, people say, yeah. I have to listen to my body. You don't know what your body's telling you because it's plugged up. And yeah, 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 exactly. It's very hard for people to understand until you yeah. do a long fast. Then you start understanding what listening to your body really means when you start eating food again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, it shows really, really clear. Yeah. The consciousness of food, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Big and now with Christmas, also we 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 ate more things uh, together, you know, and then it doesn't work. <laughs> I immediately start coughing and uh, you know snot and everything coming out. Yep. Immediately, really. Yeah. Like. Yeah. yeah. Because um, when we eat three-dimensional food, this this is where. Um, 
I don't see people really understanding all foods create mucus. I don't care yeah. if eating fruit creates mucus. It's just that fruit creates the least amount of mucus. You don't even feel it, it's so little, but it yeah. creates the mucus to protect it itself from these heavy three dimensional foods. And then you start yeah. getting into the greens, it builds a little more mucus. You start getting into uh, fats and proteins and stuff and, and grains, it builds way more mucus. Yeah. And animal products, way more mucus. Yeah. yeah. That's why we build that uh, mucus lining, which we call plaque. When we start shedding that stuff, uh, we can see, uh, you know, how, uh, how hard it is to get that stuff out of you because it's been building, your body's been building that for years and years and years since you started eating, you know, yeah. right from your mother's milk. As soon as you start getting away from that and put solid foods into you, you start building that mucus lining. Yeah, and, uh, yeah exactly. So <laughs> it's not, uh, it's not fun when uh, it's very clean and we put the heavy foods in. You can, you feel everything. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the beauty because now your your senses are alive again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you you're doing a good job. Um, so ma most of the food is fruits that you're eating. Well, like yeah, that. most of the, yeah, and also the, yeah, and then and the the pumpkin, I cook and oh uh, yeah, I I really I I discovered a really nice recipe, of uh, banana with zucchini. And with the uh, dried banana and then in powder form, and from that with uh, um, um, baking soda and lemon, I make the most beautiful bread. Yeah, and it feels good also, and this is really like a bread. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you know. So this is really uh, because I was looking really into. Uh, you know i was desiring bread so i was looking into recipes and everything yeah i really learned myself all post your uh, recipes and some pictures yeah i will i will i will send the recipe <laughs> and uh, the pictures because it's this is uh, really actually only zucchini and uh, banana mm -hmm. awesome so it's fruit yeah fruit yeah fruit bread yeah nice, nice. and it's fluffy it's delicious you know mm -hmm. and you can put in like a, 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 a cumin or something to make it uh, you know a little bit savory uh, mm -hmm. kind yeah awesome you know people are very <laughs> that heaviness <laughs> feeling that people are looking for in breads are very very addictive so if there's yeah something that can help people emotionally that's fruit yeah piece. that's awesome <clears throat> it's only fruit yeah so this is really putting my bread craving you know giving <laughs> giving it space <laughs> and make a, a, a zucchini from zucchini uh, spiralize it and nice. make pasta from that yeah. i cannot digest any uh, nightshades this is really you know this always has been an issue in my life but i tried it but it doesn't work for me so, uh, yeah. How is your um, dry fasting schedule when after the master fast? I still on the same schedule. Nice. Yeah. Keeping this schedule. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and what's your plan for, let's say, the next year? The next year, I want to get go into a, ma a longer master fast again in the springtime. Nice. When the beginning of the spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this is my plan. And just happened. jump, huh? The spring? Like uh, May? Uh, uh, end of March. March. Okay. Yeah, end of March. And then Per will, he will go to India, 9th of January for two and a half months. And then 27th of March is my birthday. And then he will come back. And then we will go in a master fast together. And this is for sure the plan. And I am planning to jump in a little bit, you know. For sure, keep the dry fast and do some like two, three days of juicing. This I like, and uh, awesome. yeah, I think I will stay with this. Uh, this also not uh, yeah the vegetables. I don't know. I still I tried it, try it, but uh, it doesn't make me really happy. You don't need vegetables. <laughs> no, no. Uh, most people um they, they feel they need to feel that little bit extra grounded right and it's very hard for them if they don't do vegetables um so it's okay you know whatever if you stay no. most of the fruits better yeah 
that's that's amazing that's a great plan so you're going for longer master fast a couple of times a year maybe and then uh, yeah I, I i wish to do that yeah i wish to do that i think i i'm, I'm i think it, uh, 40 days is great you know I, i'm not sure if i will do 108 days really soon again but maybe, I don't know, because I thought I would do nine days, right? When I started this 108 and then this 108 would keep on with the red lights in my yurt. So I don't know, you know, Yeah, that's I don't plan. know. Yeah, I mean, now that's a great plan. You know? um, yeah. Even 40 days, 30 days, you know, maybe a couple yeah. of times a year, maybe every season change, you can do three weeks or 40 days or something, you know? Yeah. And in between, you're eating cleaner and you're still keeping your dry fasting schedule. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that feels really good. The dry fast for me feels really good. Nice. It's also, easy. it's easy. It has been easy, actually. Quite easy. I was surprised how easy because I, I read also the posts of people. And then I'm really like, whoa, my mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Probably I'm a strong woman or, uh, no. yeah. <laughs> Everybody has unique experiences and different yeah. baggage we all carry. Responsibilities, yeah. uh, responsibilities Maybe, environment, environment, inside and out. Mm -hmm. It goes on and on and on. Did, 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 did you? Did people uh, start changing their environment and their homes so they, they get rid of all their triggers? This it's is easy. something oh, yeah. we talked about earlier. Yeah. This is a big challenge. People don't change anything. All the same triggers are there. What do you, yeah. what do, you do? They're going to go back to their old ways because the triggers are there bombarding yeah, yeah, yeah. day in and day out so if we don't change those triggers it helps for sure it's gonna yeah. be a big challenge big challenge oh yeah i don't have many triggers because i have a very small house a yurt is really small yeah. i have nothing really you know a really minimalist life i have that's the dome shape the little yeah just this little round uh, hut you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> and we live there together with two and one closet outside with uh, yeah like the suitcases and stuff like that tents for when the kids in the summer uh, are there. the temperature there in the winter the temperature uh well when i when it's freezing it's freezing <laughs> it's uh, now it's around uh, five degrees i guess and when we come home yeah it's cold it's cold as outside and then we make a fire is that the coldest yeah. it gets five degrees or is it going below no something? no it goes below yeah okay. in, yeah it's freezing it, it, it's freezing in the night now okay. outside um, yeah we just started winter so you have a fireplace i mean a little stove or yeah fireplace yeah oh. uh, uh, how yeah uh, a heater um, where you put in the in the wood yeah that is our um, way of heating and, and we have a jerry can with water you know nice yeah and very have, simple huh? do you have your kids with you as well they live with their dad and they come uh, in the weekends and uh, on the wednesday i go uh, to their house to yeah to cook and to do you know <laughs> and this is also a whole master fest i loved making the food for my kids <laughs> i loved just i was really we we oh better me we have been watching so many like cooking po programs you know yeah. and it started really with this like cheese and patata yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. all this kind of food I, I oh, you know fluffy <laughs> fluffy cakes and <laughs> <laughs> and then it developed into vegan raw lifestyle so i i really did a big study on food actually <laughs> you, you, you tap into the emotion of food when you're fasting when you're playing with food and preparing and it's yeah. a different experience when you do that it's amazing yeah it's really beautiful and also what i noticed is that on 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 certain like crossroads on streets then i would yeah, like get all of a sudden this mindset of like hamburgers or this and that and then i walk further and then ah okay there's a uh, so this where this like mindsets of many people who have been thinking about certain foods i would just as if it would just like <laughs> my head is an antenna you know yeah. this i noticed like oh this kind of food and i never really like i've i've been vegetarian for many years 
already i don't know when i don't even remember when i started but uh i all of a sudden love the 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 the, the smell of hamburgers and 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 and, and fried chicken you know and i when i was still now when i smell it i love it but i i just have to smell it <laughs> 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 that was surprising for me, you know, that I never had before. Mm-hmm. But in the master of us, I started just just liking this this smells. It's deep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it happened to me. It's <laughs> I know also, it, yeah, you recognize it. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Uh, you're when you're tapping into the emotion of things, uh, uh, especially when you're on the, on the long fast. It's uh, to whole different experience. So um, we just uh, let's elevate these uh, those poor souls of the animals that uh, were used for that purpose. That doesn't need to be, you know. It's uh, it is what it yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's me or more to tell? You ask also what? Uh, oh yeah, you ask me also what uh, what healed huh? in the master fast. What changed, yeah? yeah? What changed, yeah? What, what, there, uh, well, my whole lymphatic system feels good now. What was not good? This play is sore in my mouth that w- went away. And, um, and my you, skin. How long was the sore? How many, uh, how much? I think, um, well, it started, uh, in may i think may or june oh, may i think may yeah this year yeah mm. and it's uh, almost really it, it was bigger and it's really almost gone almost gone so yeah. with that i'm very happy because i was afraid you know it really i was really afraid of that no fear let it go just keep going yeah we yeah yeah, it's just balancing out. It's going away, so I'm really happy. I'm uh, jumping for joy. <laughs> it's nice because you know you're in control. No more fear. Yeah. You know how yeah, to exactly. go down and how to let it come back, you know? Like, you know what to do. It's, yeah. yeah. A, a backed up GI tract, lymph system, emotions, lots of things going on. So we open up yeah. the energy and let it flow, and things start correcting themselves magically. We don't have to do it with any thought process. It's all no, exactly. from the soul. Yeah. Bang, yeah, bang, in autopilot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, I just realized really what it was all about. I know what it's about: speaking my truth, following my heart, allowing myself to enjoy, and uh, I'm following that. Mm-hmm. It's all about that, and having my own spiritual connection, not with anyone in between. You know, no commands, no mm-hmm. some kind of teachers. Uh, or, or food. Others. Yeah, or food. Or food, yeah, or food, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that you have to eat. <laughs> we eat for fun. Yeah, yeah. To enjoy, yeah, I must say, I enjoy, I never enjoyed food so much as now. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, I really like all the tastes. I, I taste everything so nice. And I like herbs, different tastes of herbs and spices. And mm-hmm. that makes the food for me. You know, also really nice to play with it. It's like play, playground, new playground. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, uh, I used to have a pain in my knee that healed. And oh, what's interesting also, I, uh, I had an accident as a child with my index finger. Uh, and the nail that, uh, that was uh, hurt. And, uh, the for a long time this nail would be like uh like you know i don't know how to explain that it would not be straight but it would be like a cartel yeah and now that healed in the master fast it it became red and inflamed almost this finger that had this accident and then it, it had a little bit like a black uh, a line under the nail for a long time and that disappeared it's just it became straight this finger this nail became straight again 
Did you did you use any thought process for that? Nothing. It just <laughs> happened. <laughs> back, to, back to blueprints magically. That that's a little yeah. miracle. Where yeah. people would scoff it off. That's a little miracle because what that means is the body was not able to heal it properly when you had the accident. Yeah. Now, now many years later, it healed it. Why? Yeah, now I... Why? You have to because you stop the digestion process for a long time and the body said, yeah. you, let me fix. <laughs> now uh, you can fix it. Yeah, but I was in kindergarten, you know. Wow. This thing you was heard in kindergarten, yeah. That's many years. Many years. And I also one time when I was with my boyfriend long years ago when, uh, when I would get drunk sometimes, I uh, was on the bike and then we were drunk and then I drove into the the... the the railway of the tram in the city. And then we bombed, you know, and then I got really on my hip bone, a uh, real nasty wound. And it has been a long time uh, scar, but this scar is gone. Wow, awesome. Yeah, the scar is gone. I can't see it anymore, anymore. No, <laughs> really. <laughs> It's amazing, you know, when we say everything is possible, everything is possible. <laughs> yeah, really. You just, you know, you're gonna let you're gonna do it whatever it takes, no matter what, no matter how long it may take, that's the question. And most yeah. people they won't do that. You know, it may yeah. take some people maybe three, four years in this lifestyle to correct some of these things, or maybe longer. Who cares? Yeah. We know yeah. it's possible. We know yeah. it's possible. Yeah. And also, oh yeah, my hair grew back. And my uh, eyelashes became much thicker. Mm -hmm. That also I had to used to have uh, pimples uh, here and uh, things and scratching and this. This is now also gone. Awesome. On my back, I used to uh, have little, you know, wounds yeah. which I couldn't stop scratching also. But it's gone. Yeah, really Amazing. good. Amazing! And Just a few months, what can happen? Yeah, and I used to have hemorrhoids that sometimes blo had blood that uh, never had any any anymore since the master fast. It's all gone. No pain in the belly anymore is gone. Really great, actually. You know, I feel good. It, it's you know when uh, <laughs> once you go through all these months of healing and so on, what happens is we forget all the pains because nobody wants to remember them, right? So you have yeah. to. Oh my God, I had this. I had that. I had this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 people forget what they had yeah and i would have also uh like uh, uh here my sinuses would be yeah all this so uh, this whole site this whole lymphatic system site would have snot and person stuff you know but that's also gone awesome yeah it feels really good <laughs> yeah how the bowels work? oh really great you know Super every like every time I eat immediately after I I have to go. That's the way Never was going. so good. Yeah. I don't have to wipe anymore either. You know, <laughs> I do it because it's a it's a <laughs> habit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super bowels. Uh, Super bowels. Yeah. You know, when people say uh, enemas and colonics weaken your bowels, what do you got to say to that? Oh, well, I don't believe so because I have another experience here. Yeah. I, I say bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're speaking out of ignorance, right? They haven't yeah. done it. The understanding no, comes through the experience. That's why we say that over and over. The understanding will come through the experience. Um, yeah. you know, when you've done this stuff for decades, you'll have the understanding. Um, yeah. Before that, just best to keep your mouth shut because... You don't know, people don't know what they're talking about when they start saying these things. And it's yeah. uh, fear. coming from fear and the, the programs and everything else. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, we, we've shown, uh, you guys have all shown everything's possible. Everything's possible. Yeah. Just commit to your soul. N not to me, yeah. commit to your soul. I have nothing to do yeah. with it. <laughs> I can't yeah. do it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it made me so strong just also to, to, to resist all these mind forms of uh, all this limited belief system of people. It's tough. It's tough. It, that was so tough. Yeah. Yeah. But it especially, made me so strong to really say, yeah. yeah. Especially uh, people getting thin. That's very hard on, on, on a lot of us, you know. Yeah. Very difficult. 
And very uh, difficult job. The beauty is that so many have gone to skin and bones and built beautiful bodies. So, you know, everything is possible. Your body can do anything. Mm -hmm. You just have yeah. to go that bullcrap fear that people yeah. put into us. Yeah, I mean, I also do it slowly because, of course, you know, when the body is very toxic, it's going to lose a lot of weight. I mean, 108 days master fast following the minimal uh, dry fasting, and you know, just uh, for newbies, it's fine. Even if we lose weight, it's not going to be, for most people, it's going to be manageable. Yeah. But, um, when people push the dry, I find they can be very small and you don't want to go there because it's not necessary anyways, you know? No. You build it. Yes. We used to have people who did five days and 10 days on the master, while on the master fast, dry fasting. I don't know. They didn't go the distance. Was, None of them did. Yeah. It's, uh, no. it's not necessary. And some, some of them, uh, I remember, like uh, some of them were very small. There's, it's really, there's no need for that. It's a little bit too much. So do it slowly. Yeah. Once you have four or five years under your belt of living this lifestyle, yeah, you can push your dries. You know? The challenge yeah. is, uh, as we all know, it's after the, the master fast. You know, what's your lifestyle? Because, you know, you want to sustain the lifestyle. Yeah. That's a bigger challenge than doing, in my opinion, than doing long dry fast on the master fast. Anybody can do 108 days. Yeah. What are you going to do after? <laughs> mm. yeah. That's the key. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, do, how are we going to, how are we going to walk through the doors once they're open? Are we going to continue walking? Or are we going to start closing the doors again? And that's yeah, yeah, yeah. a big challenge for most of everybody. Patience. Is yeah. Who's actually Patience. living the lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. The fast is the simple part. Yeah. Important for us to be patient, persistent, and very gentle as well. Uh, you know, take it easy, right? There's no reason to be too hard on ourselves. It's already a mm -hmm. big change to do 108 anyways. You know, so to yeah. be harder than that on ourselves is... Um, like the long dries is a little bit too much, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. I understand. I understand that this dry fast should be easy Yeah. Well, because we I can imagine also, this is what I got with the, because the kidneys and the liver have to, you know, get this, uh, when you squeeze and you have to be able to release and if you squeeze too long you you can damage and can't you just damage your yeah, your yeah. vital organs with it you get what happens your body uh, starts drowning on its own filth because it can't move it out quick enough exactly yeah and then you get tired and and uh, oh, yeah like zombie state yeah 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 so, you know, that's why it's systematic. A small daily squeeze, a bigger weekly squeeze, and a big monthly squeeze. And that's enough for when yeah. you're on a long MFS. That's more yeah. than enough. Yeah. Yeah, so there's, in this I listened to you. And I got uh, also why. I understood why. Because Per would push it f further. And then he was like a zombie state after that. And then, aha, uh -huh, okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, so anything else that you can remember? Mm -hmm. you, you went to this? No, anything else that I would like to share? Um, what I also noticed is that, um, like all toxins, are uh, like antenna for negativity. And that uh, this is cleansed out and then uh, the light comes in. And I feel even if there's toxic people who I use, I'm high sensitive, you know. So when people would be toxic, it would uh, start to resonate on my own toxins. And that hurt. That hurt me, really. Literally, physically hurts. But... <laughs> Now it's not like that anymore. Yeah, and this is really interesting, I think. So like you can be around them and not be affected by their... Yeah, exactly. It doesn't crawl under my skin anymore because it would awesome. enter into... really. It would like enter into my lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
same to same it attracts each other right so once yeah you know it's you're not attracting that yeah 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 oh and i what i also notice is just you know that i walk on walk on the street and then i see the reaction of people smiling more at me animals running to me like happy very happy children you know like it is very interesting very interesting most interesting i found with animals because they are so pure they don't have belief systems you know mm-hmm. <laughs> yep they, they have yeah. much stronger senses than we do yeah this i find i find very interesting and yeah since actually also since the master fest many many people start to like i get everyday uh males and uh, that I ask people ask me to guide them more, much, much more. You know, my my practice for natural medicine is blossoming more than ever. Actually, this really also attracts it attracts soul soul uh, brothers and sisters more. So I, yeah, it's interesting what's happening. Yeah, you made a huge shift in uh, your whole being. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's a big, big shift, for sure. It's awesome. Yeah, so that's what I notice. And um, what did I have? Uh, yeah, well, I am. Um, I think I, I, pretty much shared. Anybody have any questions? That's uh, on online. For um, Miriam. Is there many people there watching also? Can you see? Uh, we have a few. I just want to say you look really, really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, you're just. <laughs> Yeah, it's really changed. It really changed. I, I, I posted one picture before. This was just, just in the beginning of the Masterfest when I then, uh, how I look now, I, it's my skin, everything. You, like, you were very, very gray. There wasn't, there wasn't hardly any light in your eyes before you yeah, started. Yeah, that was really in a dry fast. This was on a, one of the most difficult moments also when i took that picture mm-hmm. but the difference is really i sometimes feel like gold i look at my skin and there's a golden <laughs> glow on it you know <laughs> yeah really everywhere and i i really love it really beautiful just i look 10 years younger it's amazing you know what happens with this body with nothing it's just amazing yeah you really know? great yeah. We're just using a few things to help keep things moving, and that's all we're doing. We're very simple. Yeah. Like you said, it's, this is very simple. Um, yeah. How some people see as complicated, I don't know because I've not seen any way of to live more simple than MFS. <laughs> yeah, it's really Unless simple. You yeah. eat dry fasting all the time, and that's it. You've connected, and you don't need any physical foods anymore. But yeah. uh, it doesn't get easier than this. <laughs> Miriam. You do, and yeah. I must know when uh, when you eat Well, my bowels are really like three times a day, you know. So I do it only uh, in the dry. So when I do uh, just to to prepare my dry and uh, to to finish my dry, so like once a week, awesome. I skip it with the dry. But it goes so good, you know. I don't see any reason because I'm sometimes I do still take some of the psyllium husk and i also the psyllium husk i have also in the little banana breads that i make i put the psyllium husk in that awesome. because that works that works as a egg you know yeah, actually yeah. It's, a, yeah, it's a binder it's oh yeah it's, good yeah, it's the binder yeah awesome. <laughs> so awesome. then i get it yeah <laughs> Yeah, we're waiting for that, that recipe. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will send it. Yeah, it's really delicious. My goodness. <laughs> I just have a quick question to you about that. You were mentioned. You have been uh, just one second. I bring my hands. 
being like locked in uh, yourself um, it really resonates within me uh -huh. and what I have noticed uh, like when I start to eat it's absolutely very difficult to control myself and it feels like it's somehow I'm just still holding myself back to allow unlock that lock like you know that yeah. tension I'm holding yeah what is would be your opinion too in this, this this net yeah it is uh, for me it feels like a net under my skin you know that is uh and i i feel it's connected to adrenaline and the old survival mechanism and it's many uh, well for me it look i feel i feel like a star seed you know i'm a star being i'm i'm i'm, I'm and then i'm put on this earth and and put in this world where still uh, most people and the whole world is like still vibrating on this 3D uh, old survival mechanism and that, that, that this is still in my in my cells you know it's, it's it is it is connected to this medicine that my mother got but it is also connected to old uh, ancestral lines of um, where you know uh, it's even connected to uh, the star seeds who are being tried to put into a web. There is some kind of web that is being uh, tried to do uh, is something in the in in, the, in on this earth that tries to grab our consciousness and does not want us to wake up. You know, as if it's about that that it because we are star seeds wanting to connect with love and with source and having this com real this connection but there is an, an a force that that does not want us to wake up and does not want this to us to love in a way and i feel that this that that, that this old programs still running and some medicine being put in us that 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 that, that put this lock on our being but in our soul and in our mind really our true mind and our true soul connection we know we are these beings who came here uh, who come here to uh, awaken this enlightening of the, and, and waking up of, 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 of humanity you know and but the, the, the ones that are most connected are most most tried to, to 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 shut up you know to hold to to, to like grab like like a net it, it, it is a net some kind of net over the consciousness and this is what i'm dealing with for me this mm -hmm. feels and I, I know that i can say this to you so yeah thank you yeah and it's just to just to and I start to really realize oh there is it it's it is there again you know but I know it's not me I know it's not me I know it's some kind of implant it is an uh, 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 some it's you it's know like, yeah it's like a distraction something wants to distract you from the past right yeah it's what tries to distract me from yeah. my connection to source yeah. awakening of my soul of humanity I mean, we healing see it's everywhere yeah it's everywhere and the more connected yeah. you are the more kind of you see it right like yeah yeah and the more painful it becomes also that you notice that it's still this the, yeah, yeah this. because you're different yeah 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 to me it's that yeah <laughs> Yeah, so you're finding it, uh, Inga, a little bit hard to uh, let go sometimes of, um, like, the food? I, it's just uh, been like, you know, I can do really seven, eight, nine days of fast, but then once I start to go deeper and the sensations and feelings, I just, I start to eat, and when I eat, it feels like, you know, it's just no end, just shoveling to shoveling yeah like i surprised myself and i noticed 
the flavors, you know, I would be eating very clean now because I don't like that, like all the uh, harder stuff, but still, but I, I still I eat way too much, way too much and just really feels to numb myself because you know, when you eat something, yeah. you realize to when you sense and you feel actually how you feel after when you have been eaten and because you feel that and you don't like what do you, do i do i just put more on yeah 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 that's also to be uh, very sensitive to be very sensitive and then food can numb you out because 100%. it's yeah because it can be overwhelming you know to be on this earth on this earth and what's happening on the earth and how people you know the whole humanity the vibration is this old grid you know this old dark grid of the earth and it uh, then food is a way to just numb it out yeah. you know some people yeah some people use other kind of things to numb it out but it is a way because when we were still, when before war would be on earth, you know, when the people were still in this golden ages, this would be, have been a time that people didn't eat. And the eating started more when we, when uh, we fall out of, you know, out of paradise. And then people start to, you know, Cain was uh, uh, killing Abel. And then, you know, then, so the, then, the hurt, the hurt started and then the eating started too but we have i have memories in my soul of being without food mm -hmm. and i think that was way before and now is the time that we are entering again this iron belt of of light you know and realizing that we come out of darkness getting into light and that now there is the master fast and now people start to awaken and now people start to become breatharian again because we are entering this light consciousness again mm -hmm. but we forgot and now we are learning again and now it's good to do fast go in and go out again and go into 3d and then go out again to into 5d the law of connection to source but it's just waking up. Humanity is just waking up, you know, just opening the eye. And the one is just a little bit more open the eye than the other one. It's just starting. Yeah. Let's take a step back, Inga. And when these cravings and stuff come and ask the question, you know, why are these things coming to the surface? What are they here to teach me? What am I, what am I supposed to learn from this? look at it from a different perspective yeah and th thank it thank the fear when it comes because that's the opportunity to go to see it you know you, you have the opportunity yeah. to see it so you can face it um yeah. of course most of us don't do that but it's good you know to learn slowly to do that um you know thank it and uh, like talk to the fear what do you want i mean why why am i afraid and try to work yeah. with it um yeah it becomes easier, of course, when you are fasting. The longer you fast, the easier it is. Uh, the emotions, it's much easier when we're fasting. Yeah. Um, so as you become cleaner and cleaner and cleaner, it's easier. Um, the first one to two weeks is usually the toughest for most people once they start. Once the GI tract starts shedding, you know, cleaning out, it gets easier and easier and easier. You know, and then you have the few people that have real big challenges because they're much obstructions in the physical, mental, and emotional that they, you know, the way they've been living and, and, and they inherit it and so on and so forth. So um, very few people have these big challenges, but it happens. But most people, you know, after two, three weeks, they're, they're feeling better than they've ever felt uh, on the fast. And, uh, and if you're not, you need to just dig more. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. just feels, well, we talk and even now, it just feels that little girl is so, so so terrifying to come out yeah yeah what has happened let it go yeah let it go yeah um, yeah I, I, I love you know we don't we don't Amazing. talk about turpentine much but i love using turpentine i've been using it like half teaspoon a day but that's that's me again we're not responsible it's not 
part of the protocol, but you can experiment. I have it too, dear. I have it. Yeah, you can experiment yeah. with that. I take half a teaspoon every morning. Yeah, oh. that's a good one. That's a good one against those parasites, but also against those implants because the turpentine is from the pine. Yeah, it's from the pine, right? Mm -hmm. And the pine, the consciousness of the pine brings back to the Christ energy, the 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 innocence, the innocent light that is in us, so that this can shine through, and not the you know uh, because Jesus was crucified and you know uh, got all of this. Uh, negativity on his shoulders right so then the pine really brings this back this christ light source energy so then no no uh implant or no parasite or uh monkey mind or uh reptile brain mind side sets can and anymore uh grab on Mm -hmm. This is this 3D. It it helps us to get out of this 3D into the fifth dimension. Herbs, Serpentine. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Herbs are powerful. Um, Very powerful. Yeah. Herbs. You know, the pine. The pine is also uh, a pine cone. Is, is resembles the uh, pineal gland, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pineal gland. Yeah. Pineal gland. Yeah. So you know, same to same. But you know, we 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 have the understanding now. We we we, we need to understand. Um, about certain things, um, you don't need to ingest uh, oils. There's many ways of using uh, oils, and ingesting you're taking in the 3D part of that, and you're going to deal with uh, obstructive nature of which oils are. Um, I know pine uh, turpentine is uh, people are taking very very small amounts, mm -hmm. and that's okay. But I wouldn't be doing anything like that for long term. My my pers uh, myself. Uh, externally, you can use oils, uh, no problem. Um, you can take in uh, the aromas, and that way there it just affects the emotion. Mm -hmm. And that's the most powerful. Yeah, yeah. So mean, there's many ways of doing it. Yeah, and if you want to do it, I mean, I, I wouldn't do it internally for a long time, that's for sure. I mean, just to help you out initially. And once you're on the fast and even eating once in a while, one day a week, it's easy. There's no cravings anymore. Um, yeah, yeah the, but just to help you out. It's a challenge for the understanding of uh, the obstructive nature of three-dimensional foods to come through and, and then understanding with people. Um, it's very, I don't see it, it happening uh, uh, with, with many people. Um, it's a, a big challenge. Um, like we said, everybody has an opinion. Um, but um, when you have been doing this kind of things for many decades, some information starts being re, uh, revealed to you if you pay attention. As I say, the answers show up in plain sight. Um, and um, it's as more and more people live this lifestyle and, and continue on these fasts and allow the process to take place, we're going to see much uh, beauty start uh, um, surfacing in, in people through information that they download. And it's going to happen. And, you know, as more and more people are living this three, four, five, six years, you're going to see a beauty of blossoms uh, coming out uh, uh, with transformation across the planet. Uh, it's already started, uh, and we just we haven't even begun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just starting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, we use the tools. We use the tools. The yeah. We have so many tools now that. That uh, makes it easier to yeah, us. You know, yeah, it's, it's awesome. We can do it. Really good. <laughs> yes, for sure. We have to just trust also and keep connecting, keep connecting to the source, yeah. you know. And also, when the cramp comes and when the when the cravings comes, just to, to just you know, yeah, keep allowing uh, the, the healing to come up, you know, because it will bring just the consciousness there and this is also when difficult parts come i really learned that uh, the light comes in you know when the difficulty comes up the light comes in so then there's an exchange of this dark and light and that is part of healing you can you cannot heal without the you know this exchange in a way mm -hmm. yeah 
Beautiful. Nice. We're always here. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Very nice. I keep going to um, be connected with people that are uh, on similar paths and be inspired by what you know what we're doing. It's awesome um, because uh, this wasn't available um, through all the years uh, that when I started, um, it just wasn't there. No internet, uh, nobody to talk to. Just you no. know, vegetarian. You don't have the tools. Yeah. yeah, vegetarianism was crazy when I started. So uh, then raw foodism was crazy when I started mm. <laughs> and, you know, fasting. Oof, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. People have talked about me also that I'm crazy. This yeah. should be in a mental hospital. Yeah. Well, I'm not. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. maybe different, you know. <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting how people run on fear. That's all it is. They're running on fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have no clue. They're just speaking out of true, true ignorance. Yeah. And it's yeah. a choice because they don't want to know. And they don't. They don't. They don't do their homework to find out and uh, actually start, uh, you know, um, I mean, implementing these things in their lives to to figure it out. You know what it really is. Yeah, we understand. We came from there, and you know, we were there. Yeah, so we understand yeah. where they're coming from as well. Yeah, I, I yeah it's not easy. In my early twenties, I met this woman. She was on a fast and. We were working together. And I go, what? <laughs> I thought she was crazy, right? <laughs> it was like a three-day fast. I can't remember. Are <laughs> yeah. <Were> you crazy? Because <laughs> at that point, I probably never missed a meal in my life. <laughs> Unless I was sick or something. But, you know, we, it's, we come around. We, we know, you know what people are feeling because we've been there. We've been there. Mm -hmm. And it's just ignorance. It's just tr true ignorance. Uh, all the comments we get from people making when people are getting too skinny and stuff when they're they're yeah. you know, mass, mass fasting they just whatever. yeah doesn't matter oh yeah we embrace it all and uh, we elevate their souls yeah. <laughs> well you're doing great, you're yeah. doing really well you broke it beautifully yes you had ups and downs but that's very normal and you you yeah you, know, you did um, handle them in a very uh you know a stable way um you kept walking through the door it was awesome yeah you kept walking you did not give up <laughs> yeah yeah sure it no, um, i i think i will not to give up either i feel really i cannot imagine going back you yeah. know with uh, yeah, drinking I'm cream <laughs> it's awesome awesome, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah yeah good job Bravo. yeah Feels really good. I'm very happy because I feel it's really life life saving. It has been my life savior, you know. David says thanks for sharing your glowing happy new year. <laughs> yeah, thank you, <laughs> thank you, David. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know when when you guys share, it's just so inspiring for people because everybody has their little story and somebody may not connect with me or her or you. There's somebody out there that they will connect because yeah. we have so many stories now. Something might click and, you know? and somebody's yeah. going to connect with somebody. And you know, this is, and this is why we encourage yeah. wholeheartedly for people to share their, their yeah. journeys and their, their lifestyles. So um, others can connect with, uh, with them. Um, you know, some people are just looking for that exact same thing that they have. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But there may be some words or something or whatever that connects soul to soul yeah, yeah. that awakens them and allows them to uh, make the jump and, and change their life. Yeah. Um, that's all it takes. That's yeah. what happened for me. I read Arnold Eric's book and the rest was history. That was, that's all I needed. I, I had, I read, I read that book. I understood fasting is the way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I, I didn't know who, what, where, and why, but it took me decades to the bull crap and, mm -hmm. you know, to yeah. end up where we are now. But it yeah. was all a blessing uh, to, uh, for the experience and, and to, for the understanding to come through. And it needed to happen uh, for that time. Yeah. And it was all great. Yeah. Yeah, for me, it was really, you know, I, I, I know a lot about health. So I knew for sure that what I was suffering from that would not be helped in any hospital or so I didn't even go you know I was I, I knew enough you know to understand my body 
and what's healing mm -hmm. and that fasting will clean it out you know and uh to not fear it also too much it, this this really helped me also to just because of this simple way of seeing it like yeah you know when you have clogged up lymphatic system you need to clean it out and uh and not to to name too much the uh, you know like to give your uh, symptoms uh, a disease name yeah and then you're you are suffering this this and this disease it's a trap uh, it's a trap yeah because from that moment when you go to a doctor they will treat you like a sick person and they give you medicine that will make you even more sick actually and uh, to just stay out of that but that also yeah you know i was mind it was mind blowing for some of people from for also for my parents they were like why don't you go to a doctor shouldn't you have a diagnosis or this or how i said no i will not because if they want to take a diagnosis they will put some kind of me uh, uh, you know radioactive stuff i have to drink and uh, or they will cut in my body and want to take something out but i don't want them to do that you know they are not i don't allow them so i will do it another way and it helps you know because it's clearing out and i'm i, I don't i'm not afraid anymore and i don't see these snakes biting me anymore you know <laughs> <laughs> So it really helps. I can recommend everybody to do a master fast. Mm -hmm. Really. It, it turned around my whole being. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It's awesome. All right. Uh, everybody else is uh, okay. Let's, uh, anything else you want to share before we call it a close? Uh, we're coming up to two hours. Yeah, almost. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. I want to share just that. Uh, that uh, yeah, what I want to share is all my love to everybody who is uh, in the Master Fest or planning to do a Master Fest. And I want to wish everybody a real nice New Year's Eve and a very happy New Year, you know, that uh, 2019 might be maybe a beautiful year of healing. For me, 2018 was the year of healing out my system. And this is interesting because there is, I do a big study on natural uh, or natural medicine. Uh, I do a big study on mediumship. You know, I'm a, a medium and I did a study. Uh, one line of healing is uh, with a wounded healer. This is called Chiron, or in another African line, it's called Obaluae. Obaluae is the wounded healer. And 2018 was for me the year of my wounds, licking my wounds and, and uh, really facing my uh, inner wounds and also my sickness. And uh, this, uh, this uh, entity is covered with like straw because he is hiding his, uh, uh, his pains and his sores and he has sores all over his body and he is the, like the, the, the one that heals himself and be overcomes his uh, disease. This um, um, is a very strong entity actually that helps uh, many people. Uh, to find, uh, to overcome miasm, the, the old, uh, to fight also the, the beings of the, of the mud uh, that makes us sick. So this was 2018 for me. And I wonder what will bring 2019. <laughs> but I know that this whole year I have been under the guidance of this uh, spiritual guide. And I'm very thankful that, uh, you know, how deep this has shown me really from the bottom of the waters, where's the mud, you know, and in this bottom of the waters, this is how I started huh? from the stars to the bottom of my waters and back. This is how I traveled. Yes, I faced my miasms, the beings of the 
the mud and I worked to clean it all out and it's really worth it because once your rivers in your body become crystalline you start to receive the crystalline light uh, that's the same and to clean out the, the the kidneys the kidneys are also the portals to the to the ancestral lines to our previous lives and uh, once that clears out you will reconnect to source uh, like where the water where the rivers start but also where the crystalline light and the crystalline waters flow so it's worth it you know i've seen really my 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 visions change this whole year in a beautiful way so this is what i wish for everyone Awesome. Thank you. Just keep that plasma love always flowing. Oh, yes, I will, for sure. <laughs> Great. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your time and sharing and inspiring so many. And it's Thank a pleasure you. to have you. And uh, let's uh, call it a close. And this is the last one, Zoom, for the, uh, for the year, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we'll finish off with you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy New, New Year to everyone. I, I, I got this that I've been enjoying. You know, some beautiful pomegranates. Uh. Oh, yeah, these I love too. <laughs> I like so much. I like the, the, you know, it has something more pulling. It pulls out more, even more than the grape, in my feeling. Oh, yeah. pomegranate is strong. Yeah, if you use pomegranates, you're just strong. It's strong. Yeah, I drank that a lot, by the way, also. Yeah. On my travels, especially. Yeah. <laughs> Many choices we can choose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So, okay. Uh, Happy New Year. We'll Happy see you uh, next Happy year. We'll see you on the page in the meantime. And thank you again. Love you. Thank you. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. ciao. ciao.